Albert Light. Bowling third, young Mike Bennett from Halifax. He bowls over the South Center Bowlerama. An excellent 120 average for Mike, 197, just three pins shy of the 200 club. It's his single, and 465 is the triple owned by Mike Bennett. And our fourth and final bowler, making his first appearance in front of uh, access cameras, is Paul Paquette from Dartmouth. He bowls with the Pine uh, the uh, Basley Lanes Forest Hills, at least. He's a good one, too. 117 is his average, 186 is single, and 421. Those are the numbers on Paul Paquette. Our four bowlers then looking for the two spots available in quarter final play. And Jack James is now <laughs> crawling out on the limb. Oh, really? We were dead <laughs> on last week. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, that's a mistake. First, that was that that was last yeah. week, and this is this week, Jack. Well, what do you got, I partner? Like Dougie or Dougie B for well, I like Dougie too. He's and, just a nice guy. Yeah, I got Albert Light for fourth, but uh, the only right. reason I got Albert for fourth is that uh, somebody's got to be fourth. Right? That's right, and I think <laughs> he's, he's in strong competition here. And I got uh, Mike Bennett for three, right. and Paul Paquette, even though it's his first time on, I got him for second because uh, he's. I watched him warm up. He looks very good, very sharp, and I think he's got that killer instinct. And but however, I, you know, these are only my picks. But and if he's got that killer instinct. Instinct, at least, Jack. He's a young Jack James. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, those never. Thank you very much, Jack. We'll see how they unfold as the evening unfolds. Let's go to the bowling now, and let's start this one off as Doug Blackler gets up. The crowd respond here at the Woodside Bowlerama in Dartmouth. And Doug Blackler, or Doug B, as he has on his fact sheet, is the first bowler up. Now, a competition like this, Jack. Would you? Oh, my! Big hit there for Doug Blacker. Would you like to bowl first, second, third, or fourth? In this competition? Yeah. First or last? Either one. No kidding. No. Yeah. No preference? No preference. Doug yeah. Blackler starts off with the mark. Now, you know, like, uh, see, he's, the other bowlers that are sitting there know that this fella is a very, very good bowler. And for every mark they get, or he gets, they know they're going to have to get two, and if they miss any, they put a lot of pressure on themselves by trying to trying to veto Dougie Blackler. Yeah. You know, and the way to really approach oh, it. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I mean, he's off to the races now. He I mean, is. I mean, it's uh, like the. Well, he's loose up there. That's right. Look, he, twice he was into the final. I'm going to give second him this. in the uh, ATV series with Brad Bowler from all over the Maritimes. He's he was twice good. there, and uh, we'll tell you more about Doug Blackley. He's got lots of credentials. However, credentials won't get you into the next round here. you got to put the numbers up, and Doug Blackley has started off with two spares, so he's doing that. Now, Albert Light, another good one out of Spryfield. Good bowler. He's proven himself. He's got a good style, good smooth ball. Yeah. Up to the right, but I just, just think he's in there. the wrong wrong match here. That's all. Just uh, luck of the draw. But uh, that second spare Doug he got there, he had a big smile on his face because he he was lucky, he thought he was lucky to get it playing it way where he did. Now, uh, Albert Lights is sponsored by the Psalm Branch Legion. This shot here is exactly the eight pin would be tough. Well, how about the seven, I'm sorry. How about the seven, yeah. Mm -hmm. The last time I seen that shot, it was the eight. <laughs> he changed it on. <laughs> All you had to do was ask me, Jack. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> oh, Tricky Wood out in front. Has to settle for the nine. Tricky He's got nine. good numbers, though, Jack. Yes, 119 very 19 average. Anytime you can average that week in, week, week out, you're doing pretty good. That's right. Say hello to his two children, Andrew and Matthew. His oh. dad's up there. He likes to play a little softball and some darts. And as we mentioned, he's uh, sponsored by the Psalm Branch at Legion. And we say hello to them. Everybody at Albert's Place. And uh, also, everybody at all the Legions. And we haven't done this for a while, Jack. We want to say hello to... Special hello to all the seniors who t tune in the show week after week. Yes, there's quite a few of them. They Absolutely. They talk to them on the street. And we get lots of mail from them, yeah. and we appreciate hearing from them. And, uh, That's great what Albert's got to do, but only, unfortunately, he's got to get spirit chance. Well, this is a spirit chance, but he's got to throw that three over onto the four. And I think if he hits it on the, the three pin on the outside, I don't think it'll take out the four. But oh, oh, through the hole. He's trying. But see, Albert can't afford these... Uh, these One, open boxes, I should say. Once again, Jack, uh, Betty Kelly working the big board in-house here. He does the, a fine uh, job. At Polarama, and she's putting up the numbers there. And Mel O'Leary, our lob and foul line judge, is back once again. Well, he's mm -hmm. been here for year in, year out. Either there's Mel. 
And we might check in the eyes. A little tired there, Mel. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> might say that Art McMillan is the owner of this yep. love fine house. And this is Mike Bennett, sponsored by the South Center Bowlerama. So Bowlerama, big. Well, that's great. This series Sponsor in many ways. these young fellows. I was yep. going to pick Mike for uh, for a second, but uh, good young bowler, Jack. Plays a little volleyball and he's got fast a lot pitch. going for him. Well, that that ball is still on the plate, Jack. And well, will it come out? No. That can do a lot of damage, even though it's not moving very quickly. I'm surprised he played that wood where he did. Yeah. Right on the pin there, though, and gets the ten. He's had a 197. Oh, like single. He's, he's not too far away from 200. Or nope. I think you're going to see a 500 game out of him very, very shortly. And yep. Just on Ridge Valley Road over in Halifax. Punched through there. He's a student. I'd like to see him do a little more concentration. But he's a fine bowler. He knows all, all about the game. Yep. Works quick up there. He sure does. Taking a little more time now. And throws Mr. it hard. Ridge, Jack. He sure does. Look at that wood Ooh. move around. Man, oh man. The pins are shaking even before the yeah. ball gets there. And I might say in the crowd tonight, we got Peter McBean. Yeah. I used to set pins with Peter. Fine ball. Still a fine bowler. And another nine for so Mike, Mike. Bennett. Mike Bennett starts Open. off with nine and ten. Yep. Ten and nine, I should say. Fourth and final, final bowler, at least, is Paul Paquette from Dartmouth. He's sponsored by Baisley's Forest Hills. Now, the last show we had a fellow on with gold shoes on. Oh, he's got silver. Yeah. <laughs> and Doug Blacker has got fluorescent laces. Good hit. And so does Albert Light. Well, now we're going, I guess we're going to the space age. Yeah. Now, All a, part of the new deal. This is a good shot now. Watch yeah, this. There's a good shot of the shoes. And he's got the four eight. Oh, oh well, he it. may get no, it. He's, he's got to get it. Yeah. Moves around, gets the wood to come back, and opens with a spare. Does Paul Paquette? He hit it cleanly. Yep. <laughs> he got a nice smile on his face and said, "Why does everybody look so surprised?" <laughs> Father of four: Coralyn, Jessica, Corey, and Zachary. Now the Paquette offsprings. Oh, not where he wanted to be, but does get a little help and gets half of them. Five. He's got to load those marks up. He's in, he's in very good competition here. And yeah. There's, there's a good hit. A good hit. And he makes it good. Yeah, that's the way to start. Absolutely. He's happy. He's got the butterflies out first time on. Well, there's a guy that started to dive big with a couple of spares. He ain't through yet. And Doug Blackler back up again. This guy bowled in the league, Jack, if you can believe this. And throughout the season, maintained a 130 average. Man. Oh, gee, a 130 average in the league. Mm. They bowl at 32 nights. There's eight on that mark. Yeah, another good, good chance to mark again here. Oh, gee, that's get a, that one. That's a first. Yeah. Carries that 502 triple that came in the league play. You know, that's hard to do in league play because oh, once man. you get going good and, and the, all the other bowlers find out about it, they all quit bowling and they all come down and stand behind you and watch you yeah. <laughs> cheer. True, and, yeah. you know, and you got, first of all, instead of having 10 bowlers here, with five in the other team and yeah. five in your team, you look back and you got 90. <laughs> Real good guy, Doug Blacker. Oh, He's the manager over there at Fair Lanes. It's just a good guy to have around the bowling center. And now here's a shot that real credit to the game. He's going to blow away. Oh, big hit there. How's that call, partner? That was pretty darn good, partner. But he made the shot. I'm going to hang the keys on the <laughs> the bunk house door. <laughs> 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 this is Albert Light's back up again, open with a nine and a seven. Guy bowls of the 119 clips. So look for more from him. Oh yeah. He just oh, and that that he. That's tough. Yeah. He's a little help here from the wood. Well, he was on the front end of the last box and had a split. Yeah. Now he's got a. The that wood's going to come back though, Jack. Good call, sir. Now what do you do with it? Throw it in the wood pile. <laughs> <laughs> Second wood in. Yeah. Hit it, hit it right on the snow. Got to get some action off that other piece of wood. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Gentle. Yeah. 
I'm going to go back and play the two pins now on the left-hand side. He deserved side. better. That was a good yes, hit there for Albert. Game of inches. Yeah. Puts him at 25 for three now. He's been consistent on the front end, but has nothing to show for it. No. I think he might have a bad shoulder. I see him once in a while he rubs his shoulder there, so maybe he does have a yeah, it could be. a kink in the arm. The left there. All the folks at the Tom Branch Legion checking out yeah. Albert Light. Downtown. Albert Fall. My buddy works there. I have breakfast. He comes over for breakfast at the. Uh, Miranova, yeah. just, just across the street from the Legion. So Albert will sit down and give way once again to Mike Bennett. Mike was 10 and 9 to open. Look up for some action here. How'd you like to be a pin boy when this guy's tossing the ball down there, Jack? No way. I mean, he's That's got that sure ball with a spin on it that would just lift those wooden pins Ooh, right up baby. over. You know, Billy Carroll was about the, the hardest chucker I ever set pins for. And you know, there's people out there, there are some, that are saying, what are they talking about, pin boys? <laughs> That's true. They all what a oh, shot. What a all right. great yeah. shot for Mike I was, was going to call that. You were, I was going to call that too, Jack. You were talking. No, you were, right. you were busy talking about yeah, nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, pay attention to this bowling match. Yeah. I was going to call that, Jack. <laughs> that was a routine shot. Yeah, I could tell. I tell that to Mike. He said, I just made a great shot. Jack said it was routine. Oh, that's, that's, that's what I heard. Make a good shot there. four yeah. on it. That's, uh, that's the kind you want about eight or nine on. Yeah, yeah modern-day pin setters have replaced the pin boys. There really weren't pin girls, were there? Not that I recall. No, no. I don't recall any. And, of course, for those of you who don't know, young fellas used to go down and set the pins for the bowlers by hand and, and then duck for cover. Yeah, that's right. Work two lanes at a time, hop back and forth over the kickback. Mm -hmm. Get paid about $3 a frame, right? No. Game. <laughs> <laughs> we used to get anywhere from 5 to $6 a string for 10 boxes for a string, yeah. That's all we got. 5 to $6. Or 5 to $0.06. Cents. Cents. I mean, I'm sorry, did I say dollars? You sure did. Paul Paquette on the mark. All right, I like Big it. Big strike for Paul Paquette. He's off to a great start. Spare, spare, then strike. And Paul wanted us to pass along. We certainly will. A special thanks to Al Peters for sponsoring Paul Paquette. Yeah, Al and Colleen doing well out there in, yep. in Forest Hills. They've sponsored Paul Paquette, and they sponsored a good one here. Look at this. Nine dinner for two. So far. That's right. Came within <laughs> an ace of getting dinner for two at the Swiss Chalet in Sackville. It's a good call. Came within an ace because that is the ace down there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Paul with it. Fourth mark in a row, and it's going to be. What a great start for Paul Paquette. And uh, we're going to take a look at the numbers. After four frames, uh, we'll tell you that Paul Paquette, who's off to a Major league start here with three marks, including three spares and a strike, is uh, the rookie. He's the guy making the first appearance here, but boy, I want to tell you, he said, I waited long enough. Give me a chance to get on that show. I'll do something, and he's doing it. That's right. So we're at the four frames into this one. Let's look at the numbers then as we put them up on the board. You're going to see those four marks for Paul Paquette. You're going to see, see three at least for Doug Blackler at the top of your screen. Well, they're only showing. Well, make two. that two, yeah. One. But he does have three there. Yes, he does. They got a ten box there, but that's fair. well. Anyway, that doesn't matter. He's at uh, fifty-seven for yep. uh, for four with the ball working. He's in good shape. Uh, Doug Blackler and also uh, Albert Lights, who doesn't have a mark yet, but, but very consistent in the pocket. He's at thirty-three, and he's got to get something going in the next two boxes, or he's going to be way behind the eight ball. And then you look at Mike Bennett, who got a very, very nice shot down there with the, I believe it was the four-seven, took it to six-ten. A piece of wood. He's at 42 with one mark, and he's got to pick it up. And uh, Paul Paquette, Paquette, I should say, his first time on, uh, bowling very well. He's at 65 with the ball working, so he's in first place, and Dougie Blackler's in second. So. And just to clarify on that Doug Blackler situation, it's showing two spares up there, but he does have a spare in the opening frame. The, the score is certainly up there, 19. That's right. It's just not shaded in. Okay, let's go back to Doug B. And uh, as he steps up the ball in that spare he had in the fourth frame. Great start for Doug Blackler and Paul Paquette. But 
Not a great count, though. Only two on the mark. Not exactly where Doug Blackler wanted to be with that one. He puts him at 59. He's still 19 over par. And he hammers away again at the front end and punches through this time. So Doug Blackler faltering just a little bit, which is good news for Albert Lights and Mike Bennett. He chops six. off another one. See Doug Black to pick up too many six boxes mm -hmm. and only two on the mark. So he actually lost a couple of pins. He'll bounce back here. He's too good of a bowler to be put down. He does come back strong. He may get that yet. Oh, oh you're dreaming. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? That's what they say on TV. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Well, that's what you're saying, and you're on TV, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> this will not be a problem for him at all here, Jack. Okay, good call. So, Doug Blackler picks up his fourth mark. I Albert like Lights. Now, here's a guy that likes to get it going, Jack. Well, he's been in the nine, pocket. Nine, seven, nine, eight. Very consistent, but I uh, believe nothing but splits, and uh, so he's rubbing the shoulder again, so. Yeah. I think he does have a problem with his shoulder. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. That'll keep mother bowling because that's the type of people you like to have around bowling. Yes, sir. Very quiet. Proprietor's delight. Very smooth. Does his talking on the lane. Exactly. He's one there out in front. He'll look for ten. Gets his ten. It's early on, but still, Albert Light now through five frames. He's looking for his first mark, and in this kind of competition, uh, don't want to get too far behind. So That's he'd right. like to mark right here. Now this guy can string him out. He tosses at a 119 clip. Well, he's at 43 for five. There's a big hit, man. Tough leave. Oh, this is makeable. Piece All makeable. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't no piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he hits that five pin on the right, left side going away, throws it over to take out the ten, come off the wall and take out the nine. Yeah, and if the tide goes out, Jack, I'll have some land to sell you later. Oh, man, that was a great try. It was, it was truly a good try. You had the right idea. <laughs> nope, got me no, eight. No luck. Mike Bennett's going to step into the spotlight once again. Mike is sitting at 42-2 over par. See, what would happen to Albert? He'll, you know, he'll get very discouraged, and you can't blame him because he's had some good hits and hit. He's got nothing to show for it. Big hit here for Mike Bennett. Not going to be, though. Leaves the four. Hey, the pin gone. Well, I think... Sure. Won't go right on the pin? Oh, right on the pin. Yes, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about How long have you had this problem? <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I met you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like you said, it was 20 years ago, was it? Yeah, it was something. I don't know. Frankly, we'll sit down and figure that out in a minute, Jack. Let's think about this now. We watch Mike on his mark. Oh, uh, off to the side, but uh, does pick hey, up some pretty good action. Mike get one more? No. Uh, great seven. Yes, it was. That's the good news. The bad news is the leave is not any great shake. Well, he's a left-hander, so look out. This could go in a hurry. Yeah, I guess I met you around 19. Oh! Like I said, it could go Man. in a hurry. He's made two real beauties. Now, Paul Paquette steps up. He's our leader. He has three spares and a strike. He's open on the third spare right now, he's sitting at 65, 25 pins over par, and he's open. He's only bowled four of us and got four marks, but yeah, really. let it keep going. Good ball. Yes, give it to him. Oh, man, look at that. I think that's a hit pin there. That pin that's moved way back. Now, if he hits no. this right on the pin, you know what he's going to leave? Yeah, he's going to leave the, the uh, six. Oh, you're guessing. Is he? He's going to leave nothing. There's the six. He There's also left the seven. So don't <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> Well, neat. well the string comes to an end, but what a great start for Paul Paquette there. Yeah, puts him in 79. Yeah. I think I first met you must have been around 1980, Jack. Was it that early? Don't remind me, for God's sake. I thought time was supposed to fly when you were having fun. Yes, exactly. In that case, it seems like I've known you forever. 
<laughs> Gonna get that one. Good nine pin break there. I asked my doctor a few years ago, I said, what would cause this sickness? He said, oh, somebody giving you a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's a million, nope. that's a million people. That yes, all anyway. right, you what a shot. Uh, I like it. So first he's right time, back on track again. First time on, he looks like an old pro. Ooh, yes, he does. This is Doug B. Put on Doug Blackler. He's, op he's open on a mark, and I guarantee he, he won't get two on this one. No, he didn't. He got two on the last one, didn't he? Only five. We got five, though. Puts him at 80 for six, 20 over. Good try by Doug. Yes, I think when I first met you, Jack, you were working for Kenongs. I wasn't yesterday, was it? No. Every time I go by there, and I do it at least twice a year, there's a plant in St. Stephen's, I think of you. <laughs> so I think of you twice a year at least, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. No. What do you mean, no? Yes. <laughs> I can make this one, Jack. What's he going to do? He's got to miss the wood altogether. Miss the wood altogether. On the right-hand side, he's not going to play that at all. He's going to play over on the 2-4. That's what I mean. Oh, that was a fire shot. He said he's got to you, miss the wood altogether. I meant the front of the wood. Oh, all right. The nose of the wood. Yes. Oh. You so be a little more clear, will you? <laughs> Isn't that what you say to me? <laughs> this is Albert Lights up again. This guy bowls at a 119 clip. Good, good bowler, but right now he's struggling. Hasn't marked yet to the open six frame. There, that's, get over, give him a break. Get yes. That? Oh. I'll Go back break. and give him some wood, because this is his first break, and, okay. Yeah, tricky wood. He can off the no, end of the wood. No, he's not tricky. Okay. Now you can get that right off the left-hand tip, but you can see that pin very clearly, so he'll go right after it. Well, there you see it, folks, that tricky wood that I talked about. <laughs> came into play, did it, did it not? Yeah, but he got too well, far in on the wood. Well, <clears throat> now what do you got to say? Well, I, I'd say I was right. I'm not going to say you were right. <laughs> I know you're I not. I had to break this pencil. <laughs> <laughs> that, was tricky, that was tricky wood, folks. Yes, I got to agree with you. It's a good call. Oh. Now I am really in oh. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Look at that. nine pin break again. This time there's no tricky wood. There's no wood at all. That's the five pin, the king pin, yeah. so... It would have been a big nine on that mark. Yeah, it really would have been. Oh, oh, man. See, that's what happens when you, you go along for a while without getting a mark. Yeah, and then that's really tough for Albert. Is really tough. Can't. No problem that time. Puts him at that's 71 for eight, but yeah. he's in a big hole here. And yeah, where he is. Well, he's got 12 frames to go, so more than enough time to climb back in. Now, oh, Mike yeah. Bennett's up. Mike right now is 20 pins behind Doug Blackler in the battle for second place, and Mike's open on a mark, a spare. And he punched through the middle. Took the four out, used the feather shot. Yeah. And I'm sorry, not the feather, the eagle shot. Did I say he was behind Doug Blackler for second? He's behind Paul Paquette for second. No, he's not. Make up your mind, will you? How long <laughs> have you had this problem? <laughs> I told you, Jack. <laughs> oh, oh, great try. Pinning well. Well, he's into the game. Yeah. Get her in the pocket. Yes. Yes. No. Tricky wood again. Well, I'm, I'm looking stupid calling me, so I ain't calling no more. <laughs> what well, are you doing, well, Professor? I'm going to play that one off the kickback. Because that's the only way you can get it. Wouldn't you agree? Can't get it any I'm not other agreeing way. with nothing. There you go. Well, I didn't say he could get it, but I said the only way he could get it. I would have called that shot impossible. I was trying to leave a note for you, but you I wouldn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say an oat or a note? <laughs> <laughs> an oat. Okay. <laughs> Paul, Paquette. Paul Paquette's back up. He's our leader. He's 10 pins ahead of Doug Blackler nice. in their battle for top spot, and they're both open on spares. This guy's been really impressive in the opening yeah. game here. He throws a nice ball there. Get over. Oh, boy, he could have got both of those. 
Uh, nice piece eight. of wood on the move coming out. Yeah. Well, Ooh, he wants maybe. it to come way out and turn. And turn, that's right. Yeah. That's where it is now, it's trouble. I'm going to yeah. go. I'm still going to go up high in that wood, Jack. Well, I know. To go. the right of the red if band. If it goes low, because that wood in, in behind you is frozen, so you could take it. I'm going to the right of the red band. Right there. Ooh, no, baby. He was on the red band. He was to the right of the red band. Roll that back, folks. <laughs> Let's have another look at that. You cleaned your glasses about, in the last week. four, three, four inches to the right of that red band, Jack. I'll clean your glasses. <laughs> another <laughs> one for the good guys. Let's see what he can get on it. Boy, this guy's on a roll. Man, he's got a nine. To oh, he moved the ten off the spot. That wood's going to stay there. Now, is that a guide, Jack? Uh, not really. Too far away. Unless, unless it goes up and hits it high in the nose, yeah. you'll get it. But uh, you go right on the pin anyway. He throws a ball that uh, pretty straight down, so you play the pin. Ooh, oh. caught the wood. Yeah. Boy, it's uh, Springing the moat. Just missed another one there. Yeah. We get the single pin there, but uh, chalk up 17 more bonus pins. For Paul Paquette, this guy is really on a tear. It's his first time here, but you'd never know it. He has six marks in the opening eight frames, does Paul Paquette. We're going to go to the scoreboard once again. Two marks to go to the, at least two, two frames with all these marks, Jack. Two frames to go to the halfway mark, and there you see it. Well, you're looking at Dougie Blackler. He's at 99 with the ball working in the uh, eighth frame. And, uh, you know, look out for Dougie to finish strong. I think he'll finish in the 130s. Because he's a good finisher. Albert Light's having his problems. He had a couple of nine-pin breaks here, but one was, I thought he hit, but uh, you called the shot right, and he missed that uh, seven-pin, and then he had five-pin, he missed it all by itself, but he's at 71. He's in a big hole right now. And uh, Mike Bennett is uh, 91. He's in a big hole here because the other, Paul Paquette, is uh, 126 for eight boxes and just missed a nine-pin break. But, I mean, you're only human. You can't get them all. Yeah. And he's in good shape. So Dougie Brackler and Paul Paquette are setting a very good pace here this second match tell you what though mike bennett he's only eight pins behind doug blackler that's the good news the bad news is doug blackler is open on a mark let's get doug up on the approach now and see what he can do in nine and ten to finish off the first string of two remember the two top bowlers move on to quarterfinal play in this one and doug blackler can go a long way getting into that quarterfinal by picking up something right here mm -hmm. He was looking at that scoreboard, and he's going to pick up a lot. He does. Picks up an eight, and a pretty good chance to mark again here. In fact, Jack, it's a little tricky, but this one will be gone. What do you gone. mean, tricky? This will be gone. That's it. Now, what do you call him? Well, it's, it's definitely going to It's a fair. <laughs> okay, that's all you got to say. But all say I'm it. saying is don't get to too far don't to the left it. or the right of that wood. That's don't, all. Don't I wasn't say saying the wood is good anywhere. Don't say it's tricky and then say it's well, gone. I, 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 no, I didn't say that. I said it was a little tricky. <laughs> a little tricky. I gotta get you to hit the name For on the me, hit. it's a big <laughs> tricky. For him, it's only a little tricky. Oh, a big strike on the spares to Doug Blackler finishing with a flurry here. Did I say 130? Make it 140. Picked up 19 bonus spins so far in the final two frames. It was 137 and open. Yeah. Like that 18 bonus spins so far with the eight on the mark. I said 130, it's going to be 140 yards. And for the double, going to get one more? No. But not bad at all, Jack James. Not good. Not bad at all. That's not good. going to get high in that wood, Jack. Oh, wait a minute. Now, it's on the move. Now, what are you doing here? I'm going to go low in the wood now. How's he going to get the five? Good question. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're falling into my trap. No trap, Jack. Give him 10 on the strike. 10, that guy gives him 147. Nice game for Doug Blackler. Albert Light gets up. What a finish. Yeah. Now, Albert Light, and then we're in a bigger hole. Mike Bennett. Yeah. Good hit. Spear chance here for Albert. He Again, he's got a tricky piece of wood there, Jack. Yes, he has. He's got to get the five, and I don't think he can get it, can he? Yeah, I'd be at the pie. What am I doing here? I rest my cake. <laughs> 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 this is just wonderful, Jack. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. 
Is that why you want to bring the tournament here? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it is your tournament, you know. I don't I'm going to tell you something that I, I really shouldn't tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh. In the control, talking in my ear is Stevie Webb. He's telling me how to play all these shots. <laughs> he's, not, he's not in this competition this year. No, he's not. I'm only kidding. What happened to Stevie? That's right, too, you know. He didn't make it this year. Uh, he's had a lot of problems with his hands and so on. He's, a, he's talking about a hard chucker. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And accurate. And good. Yeah. Albert Light is going to... This is a real shame for Albert Light. Yeah, this is a bowler with a 119 average. We don't want to belabor that point, but we just want to let 10. you know he's a real good bowler, but he's going to check in at the halfway mark with a 91. Well, it's not good for Albert. I think he's got a bad shoulder to be honest. I don't want to keep harping on that, but uh, 91 is going to yeah. put him down at least... 40 to 50 pins, maybe right, after 28 this. pins behind it, below his average there. Oh, big strike for Mike Bennett. Well, Doug Black, they got on a tear and pretty strong. Mike was chasing him. Now Mike's chasing Paul Paquette because uh, Doug Black pulled a pin ahead of Paquette. So I want to tell you something. You have got to put a whack a mark up in this match to be there. Yes, sir, but double. The double, he's yeah, got it. Right. Back to back spares for Mike Bennett. And he picks up the dinner for two at the Swiss Chalet, Odin Sackville. And he's not finished yet. There was no doubt about those Ooh, hits. Baby. I want to tell you something, Jack. We're in for a wicked second game. Oh, yes. Very much Looking so. for three. The oh, turkey. baby. Huh? 28 on the first one. He wants us to turn, and it's going to. Mark him up, Jack, the okay. way he's playing. Okay. Oh, that hurt. Two pins. But a great, great finish for Mike Bennett as he puts together back-to-back -to -back strikes. Get eight on the second one, one to finish at 137. So he's right back in the hunt now. Paul Bouquet. He's got to finish. Right now, Mike Bennett's only nine pins behind Paul Bouquet. Paul Bouquet's struggling all of a sudden, not to take anything away from him. He's only struggling after that one ball, I should add. The guy's pretty been bowling up a storm. Well, he's but he's got a tough slip. He's been consistent on the front end, and, yeah. you know, so what you'd like to do here is get two more anyway. What if this with the seven or doesn't want to drop too many. Oh, not four there. He's only five pins now ahead of Mike Bennett. Wow. 132 in the ninth. So we're going to have... Ooh, yeah. Three fellows that are going to be fighting for two spots in that last string. Absolutely. Yes, strike all right. Strike four, Paul Paquette. That's a big strike. Well, he has been stringing the moat. He had know, a 10, then a 6, and 8, and 9, but came right back with a strike. Well, he missed that 9 that ninth and break two boxes ago. That He was on that mark, and I said, I hope that doesn't doesn't bother him. But it's nice to see him get that strike with that early... Because he missed that many break a couple boxes ago and come right back with that strike. That's great. Give him another one. On it. He's yes. got another one. Wow. Paul Fouquet now with back-to-back -back strike. The dinner at the Swiss Chalet in Sackville, however, is gone. Gone. <laughs> so he said it came just a little too late. You'll be buying me a hot dog tonight. I can say that. <laughs> you get the hot dog, Jack. <laughs> Yes. Oh, man, big count of eight there. What a great finish for Paul Paquette. Mike Bennett gets the back-to-back -back strikes in the tenth, and so does Paul Paquette, putting a lot of pressure on Doug Blackler. No, We're going to come back and take a look at these numbers, Jack. It is 1-6-0. We'll come back and take a look at all the numbers and then get back to the bowling. We'll do that after these messages. Participation celebrates the international year of older persons, people who are benefiting from active lifestyles, and leaders like Grace Lawrence, who shares her love of physical activity. Halfway mark in our second match in the Men's Singles Candlepin Championship. I'm Bruce Steven, along with Jack James. Halfway mark, some big, big numbers to show on the scoreboard. Jack, a pretty impressive uh, opening game by three of the bowlers, and a tough, tough uh, opening string for Albert Light. Mm -hmm. Very uh, good match for uh, Doug Blackler. He had eight marks for a fine game, 147. Uh, 
pin very well. Of course, you got eight marks, you only got two open boxes, so therefore you have to pin well. But anyway, uh, we, Albert liked just, you know, he hit well. He was in the pocket, but just couldn't get any breaks. And, you know, so far down now, I don't know if he can come back in the second string or not. But then you look at uh, Mike Bennett. And he took the dinner in the last two boxes, 137. He's in third place. Yeah, really. So <laughs> he's he's 10 pins out of out of uh, first or second place, I should say. And then you got the rookie of the night, Paul Bacat, who had eight marks, had a double strike in the last two boxes for a fine game of 160. Gotta That's right, folks. You're seeing it, 160. <laughs> you gotta like that, <laughs> 160 for Paul Bacat. Some excellent numbers up on the board. If you're enjoying tonight's match, why don't you drop us a line? We'd love to hear from you. A card, a letter, or a postcard, or whatever. We'll show you the address that you can send that to, and we'd love to get your reaction to that. And if you drop us a line, we'll put your name in for the draws we do each and every week, and we clean the mailbag out each and every week, too, for a book, a copy, at least, of my novel, Thy Kingdom Come, is the name of it. And we'd love to send you out a copy. There is the address, Bowling and Books, Suite 100, 145. That's 1600 Bedford Highway, of course, Bedford, Nova Scotia. Postal code B4A1E8. Those are the, uh, that is at least the address, and we'd love to hear from you. I also want to show you another book. Got this from Sheldon Buffett, the half, and I think it belongs to Doug. This yours, Doug? This belongs to Doug Blackler. It's called Strikes and Spares by Carol Randall out of New Brunswick. I don't know where you get this book, Jack, but I want to tell you something. This is a great history of candle pin bowling. It goes way back. Uh, an picture well it, it just goes back into the 19 or the uh, 1800s and there's all kinds of information and statistics and teams and I'm gonna look for Jack's name in here you never find somewhere it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is under sorehead <laughs> anyway <laughs> that's a great book I, I don't know where you get it but uh, we'll talk to maybe Doug Black to find out where he got that in case you might want to uh, send for a copy it's a great book on candle pin pulling Let's go back to the bowling now and start off game number two with Doug Blackler. It's hard, an awful thing to say, but 147, he better get off to a good start here. Well, he's only 10 <laughs> pins ahead of uh, Mike Bennett uh, at 137, and that's for second place, Jack. That's right. And if we roll along here, Jack, I've got to find your name in here somewhere. And Doug gets off to the right-hand side a little bit. Um, he splits the one-two off the kickback. That'll take out that nine pin. We've seen the shot a few times with the eight pin stand go very quickly. Off the front pin. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I knew it was in here somewhere. <laughs> we found it, folks. Oh, this looks pretty good, Jack. I'm going to read a little bit of this to you. Uh -oh. This is pin. back in October of 19. 66, and what the, the author, Carol Randall, has done here is she's kind of broken down each year and talked about the highlights. So this is October 1966. Now, we want to watch uh, um, Doug Blackler here. Good ball. Ooh, mm, terrible Dave, lead. No, it ain't. What's wrong with that lead? Better. Not a thing. <laughs> you were the one that said <laughs> terrible lead. Well, you got me trained that way. <laughs> now, he's looking. Now, look, it's the first time I've ever seen Doug. He tried to figure out a shot now. Well, this, this is a little no, trick. Right on the nose of the first wood, he's got it. Okay. And that's what I do. But he might be in between the two woods, but I'd go right on the nose. Oh, just missed. Do yeah. you remember this, Jack? October 1966. It says, the three Jacks highlight the men's maritime tournament held in Halifax by winning the top three averages. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Jack James of Dartmouth Baisley's Finished first with an average of 114.4, followed by Jack Seeley of Champion Riverview Park Lane and Jack Tubb Evans of Halifax Independent. As we watch Albert Light up there now. I didn't so print you that. You made that, partner. <laughs> I'm not too impressed with the average, though, 114. They were plastic coated oh, pins. Here we, well, what do you think we're running now? <laughs> These are solid garland, solid plastic. plastic. <laughs> These are solid. The other ones were plastic coated wooden. <laughs> and plastic coated, I should say. They were very tough. Well, now, Jack, on a sad note, it's in the same thing here. One of the things you learn in there. But you know that what else happened that year on a sad note? Because it talks about it here. And we really don't want to take away from anything from Albert here if he's up. Albert Light. But it says, soon after the tournament, the manager of the Darkwood Lane, Edward Morris, Bud Baisley died of a heart nice attack. Nice strike there. <laughs> First time he missed the front pin. 
Well, Albert will sit down feeling a little bit better, but see, where was that strike ball? <laughs> he didn't hit the head bin that time. He was a little off and got a break, so he can strike out. He now, have a chance. Mike Bennett's up. We saw Doug Blackler put up two tens. Mm -hmm. So Mike continues to trail second place Doug Blackler by ten. And he punches through the middle. So there you go, Jack. Mm -hmm. He won the, the first place in the averages. I got to be impressed by that. Oh, what a shot. A great shot there by. Come on. Well, good shot there by Mike Bennett. Play the wood here for 10, I think. I think that's a pretty good looking piece of wood, isn't it? Well, it could be tough to get to seven, only because of the kickbacks, because the pins fly off there so fast. No problem at all. I just like to hear myself talk. I know, you wanted to make that look tough <laughs> shot. An easy shot looks difficult, Jack. Okay. You had them all on the edge of their seat. How would you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice sunburn today. Thank you. Oh, mm. you want that? No, that's not what he needs. Mm. Dougie Blacker left the door open for him, and of course he can spread it. It's up to the ball he throws. Yeah. Oh, man, through the hole. Mm -hmm. So he was right home. now, Mike Bennett's struggling. Yes, he's got to go on the jersey side. Over on the three pin, trying to this with an eight or seven. Comes out with a seven. So he drops three more pins. To Doug. Doug started off at 20, and uh, Mike Bennett started off at 17. So it's now 13 pins. And here's the boy with the, the rookie with 160. Well, I tell you, first time on, first string in front of our cameras, he tossed the 160. You know what? Get over it. Right on the front Get over there. Gets another good chance here, maybe. Yes, he does. Yes. It was moved out of the way. Jack, yep. we have got a cast of. of True characters here and true bowling experts because uh, we just talked about one of your great exploits there, winning the, uh, oh, and he yeah. just missed there, yeah. winning that average. But also, Betty Kelly is working the big board in the house, and she's in the book, 1975. This is in the Ladies' Maritime. Betty Kelly at second place, Halifax, Shabak the win, had a record-setting nice. average of 112.1, breaking the previous mark of 110. That's Betty Kelly. She's keeping score in here. It's all there. That's right. <laughs> now let's see if Doug Blackler's in here. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so. Well, the record he set. Good action That's there. a good hit there. Oh, man, if he had been able to convert that last one, Jack, with well, nine pins there. The wood's still rolling around in, down there, I should say. Yeah. So Mel O'Leary, a lob and foul line judge, is going to go down and have a look at this. That's it. Remove it. Oh. Should be a fairly routine shot for uh, Paul. A lot of wood down there. And he makes it good. So he continues to roll along very nicely as he opens with the nine and then comes up with the mark. And that'll bring up Doug Blackler once that's, again. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to get that mark early. Yeah. After 160, sometimes you can go about four or five boxes before you get a mark. I agree with you on that one. See what Doug can do here. He started with 210, so. <laughs> oh, big hit. There's a strike for Doug Blackler. That's not good news for Mike Ben. Well, no. Mike Bennett finished real strong, pulled within 10 pins of Doug, but now Doug's starting to pull away again. Now let's see if uh, Dougie Blackler can get a double strike. The dinner for the two. Din the dinner at, is uh, gone twice. The dinner for two at the Swiss Chalet out in Sackville is gone. Back back Look out, right it might go again. Two. You can't finish yet. <laughs> no. Look. He's got it. <laughs> no, he doesn't. There's still one. Oh, left. I didn't see that Clean one. Clean those glasses, will you, Jack? Oh, I, was, I, never, I wasn't looking at the monitor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Good from up. our position, Jack, we can't see the 10 pin. You're right. You've got to check the monitor. Never for that mind one. the excuses now. I'm trying to help you out here, partner. I don't think this wood's too much. All right. That's what I know about it. <laughs> that's bad news for Mike uh, Bennett. Uh, well, it is. Yeah. 
Although he's a good one. You've already seen him toss a double. <laughs> and Albert gets up now. He's on a mark. A strike, yeah. He's got to have strike, 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 strike. He's got to pull a Sandy Kovac. <laughs> Throw nothing but strikes. He can do it. No. He's stuck a little bit there yeah. on the floor, but... I think Albert just wants to be presentable. Have a good score. Yeah. Oh, good shot. Good now that's one he should have had, yeah. but when it's going bad, it's going bad. Yeah. Nothing you can do about it. Right. Oh yeah, that little thing I was going to tell you that Mario told me about, that you couldn't organize <laughs> a barn full of hens. <laughs> Not exactly the way I heard it, Jack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Mark, I think. <laughs> Just coming for Zane, she said, you say that and I'll shoot you. <laughs> she knew I was going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to ask about that. Another tough break here for uh, Albert Lice. He's got the 7-8. They play that down low in the red band, that wood that's on the side that's rolling right now. And that might come across the alley and take a, the 7-pin. Uh, he should get one off this wood if he hits it low enough. He went oh. high. Good try. Yeah. Well. Ten. He does get the single pin, but he has really got to think about Mark. Well, let's take a look at Mike Bennett once again. Under some pressure here. Sir, he came within an eyelash of that, Jack. He's got a strike ball. Yes, he has. Now, look where that wood was spinning so hard and then stopped right there. I, you know, I find that hard to believe. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, any luck at all is bad. Yeah. Now, he's got two shots there. Hit this wood higher, play the other wood way over on the right, and get it that way. I don't know what he's going to play here. Played it oh, high and got boy, it. Beautiful. That was a nice shot. It was a nice shot. There's not a lot of room for error there, and he made... You're making Made notes. Sure I'm glad you're looking at those shots. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, late falling 10 pin there is going to help out a lot. Yeah, now he's got to watch this one, Bruce, off the side of the wood. He could leave the seven here. Not mm -hmm. the B. Well, I want to tell you, this guy fights back big time. That being Mike Bennett. Now, this guy here is at 160, but you think he'll be safe. He's not. He's open on a mark, so he's going to have to get a bunch on this. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Get over. Get over. That was a Big pretty, full, nine. pretty full hit. He's got a yep. good nine. Now, you have to have this. this Oh, he caught no. the pin in the channel. Nine, call yeah. nine. That'll be the nine. He was there. Yes, he was, yeah. That's all right. I don't think that'll bother him. You know, he's selling a very good ball right now. He's, he's at 27 for three, or I'm sorry, 37. I'm allowed to make a mistake. Well, that's it, Jack. You've had your mistake. Okay. Little boy, Paul. As Jack would say, this could go very quickly. Okay. Is your last name James? <laughs> a little fall, left three, yeah. but a good try. Yeah, it was. He's in a groove, this guy. He is. Got to go to the scoreboard at the conclusion of uh, this frame. You think? And I think so, yeah. Paul well, Paquette continues to roll along real well, but the battle right now is Mike Bennett. Back-to-back -back spares, Doug Blackler strike and the spares. They kind of battle it out for second place, but Jack, as you mentioned, as they battle that out, uh, they're closing in on Paul Paquette. We're gonna mm -hmm. take a look at the numbers. You know exactly what we mean when we say that. And also in that exchange, we saw Albert Light pick up his first mark, the strike in the second, but there they are. 
Well, you're looking at uh, Dougie Blacker leading off. He's at 197 for 14 bucks. He's bowling very, very well. I mean, you got Albert Light. He's at 134, and I think he'd be happy just to finish and go home to his wife and kids. But unfortunately, he's just in tough tonight. And yeah. There's three guys that are just knocking. He's been silly. And then you look at the Mike Bennett, who's at the 182. He's in very good shape with a spare working. And your leader is uh, Paul Paquette at uh, 207 for 14 boxes. I mean, he's bowling at a clip of about 150 average here. <laughs> you got to love this. <laughs> and I'll tell you, in that battle, Mike Bennett now at 182 is 15 pins behind Doug Blacker in the battle for second place. Um, and they're both open on mark. But Mike Bennett's really, and this may be a little bit of a stretch, but he's only 25 pins out of first place. And uh, Doug Blackler, of course, is 10 pins out of first place. Doug with a ball working is going to be right there. And you know, Mike Bennett with a ball working is, if he can load it up, will pull within striking distance. And that's talking about a guy that's tossed a 160 and is seven over par after four in the second string. And great, great shot making. Let's get back to it then with Doug Blackler. If he gets up now, the bowl in that ferry put up in the fourth. Well, out where we're in. Sorry, Bruce. Uh, we can think back to the first uh, lady show we did uh, coming here uh, when uh, the girls were on that we predicted very high scores. Mm -hmm. And uh, just goes to show you that you know what we're talking about sometimes. It, do <laughs> it does happen. <laughs> Good hit. Get over. Would like to have that 10. Not going to get it. And I'll tell you, the viewers out there looking at this match right now are really enjoying it. And they're all saying, let's go bowling. This game is easy. That's right. See if he can convert this. This is not easy. Well, if you're Mike Bennett, you're thinking, okay. Let's be able to gain something here if I can put a mark well, on. Well, he's at 204, so yeah. he's only uh, three pins behind uh, Paul Paquette. Well, yes and no. Paquette's going to, well, yes. In that sense, you're right. Are you telling me that I well, don't want to talk? I was just going to say, but he, then he dropped the pin getting the nine, so he's four back now. But yeah, okay, he's, he's right there anyway. Okay. You know, someone told me I lost it, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you find it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a punch through the belly for uh, Doug Blackman. Yep. And I believe he made this shot last year at uh, the Super Bowl. I think he may have. And he gave it a little bit of a run there. Yeah. Well, that's a shame that we're going to lose uh, two boys tonight in yeah. these fantastic scores. And also, look oh, at that. There's wow. a nice 10 there. Well, you hit the nail on the head. You said shot making, and I didn't think the you other, knew, knew what you're talking about. Well, but the, other, you know. the other shame, besides your shot calling, is, <laughs> <laughs> is this guy right here, Albert Light. Now, we've said this, and I'm, you're probably tired of hearing, but this guy has an average of 119. And he's just struggled just having a for 13 of 14 frames. He does have one strike. Lose him around now. That's but two breaks uh, have come off the side. Yeah. So. But this guy is capable of bowling right up with the other three. I'd All play right, this one right on the seven because the wood's frozen and it will go very quickly. Oof. He caught it on, on the, the nose. Side. Yeah, he did. He said, well, that's the kind of game day it's been for me, folks. That's right, exactly. You know. So Albert will go to the other side. Got to be frustrating when you're bowling like this, you're struggling, and the other guys are just all hot as a pistol. Like if he does have a sh sore, sore shoulder, if I can get it out here. Well, I'm going to tell you, Jackie. Put does. somebody in the finish for him, you know, but you can't. He, he, I don't he, think you can do that, eh? Well, what he said, when I talked to him at the house, he said, well, he did hurt a playing ball, but he said, not making any excuses. And that's mm. the kind of guy he is. Yeah. Look at that. You see that pin? <laughs> That's <laughs> unreal. <laughs> well, sir. You what was this what? one, Jack? Well, I hit it just down below the nose. Not right on the cap. No, just down below the nose, and it should, should carry the five, yeah. and everything should go straight back and take out the seven. He hits it right on the cap. No way. Yeah. Oh, too far to the left-hand mm -hmm. side. But anyway, getting back to what Albert says, he, he did, I don't want to make an excuse, but yeah, I do have a short, sore shoulder. There it was. Yeah. Okay, now, Mike Bennett's up. Doug Blacker four pins behind Paul Paquette right now. Uh, Mike is 
13. Oh, man, he punched through the middle. 21 pins behind Dr. Lassler. Last what he got there, a four. Man, moves some stuff around, doesn't he? He's got some good action on that ball. Absolutely. Tough play here, though, for Mike Bennett. Ends up with a seven. Now that's really tough. He only had four in the mark and seven in the box for the game. It's only one pin. What's in the 56? He'd like to leave it open right here. He's 20 pins behind Doug Blackwell. They battle for second right now. Paul Paquette is making a very close eye of that scoreboard, I should say. And Mike with uh, Dougie Blackwell not getting any marks in the last two boxes. And uh, Mike uh, Bennett has a shot here. If he misses this, then Paul Paquette gets a mark and have a little fun. He did. Uh, Doug Blackwell left the door open for Mike Bennett a little bit, but he hasn't been able to capitalize here. Exactly. Good clean Close up. those two away, though. So Mike Bennett will sit down, and Paul Paquette gets up. Now, Paul Paquette is feeling some serious heat from Doug Blackwell. Just four pins back now. Yeah. I think all Paul wants to do is just... Get on the front pin, and that's yeah. what he's doing. He's there. He's bowling very well. Come up and turn. Whoa. Right there. Now, he can get by that. Now, you know what I do here? Just miss the tip of that wood, first wood. Try and get him by it. And hit the pin on the inside so it'll go. He, missed, he hit the tip of the wood and tried to flip it over, which was a good shot. But that front wood hit him in there. He had much better shot, but it was... He was trying to flip it over there, but it didn't work. So Paul Paquette gets that one, and we'll go to the other side. He's just joining us. It's week number two in our men's singles candle pin championship. We've got a dandy going here. Doug Blackler, Albert Light, Mike Bennett, and Paul Paquette, who you're watching right here. Paquette bowling. He's the fourth bowler, and he's bowling in the sixth frame here. After this, just four frames per bowler to count. One of the few times you've been off the front end. Well, that's right, yeah. Now, what Paul's got to do is split that one in two. Don't play it on the outside. He did. I almost got it. He's only the good shot. Eight. Yeah. Playing with, a, playing with a lot of confidence right now. Yes, he is. This nine. is single pin, though. We'll take the nine. So that'll break Doug Blackler up now, just three pins behind Paul Paquette in their battle for top spot. And it's important to be first because if Mike Bennett's gonna make a run, you'd like it to have it the guy behind you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Doug Blackler throws the strike. So with that, Doug Blackler now is going to move into first place. And if you're Mike Bennett, you have to set your sights on Paul Paquette. Exactly. Paul Paquette is in a pretty good position right now. He's, he's the leader, but he bowls last. And, uh, 23 uh, pins up on Bennett. Yes. And Looking for the double. Nope. Mm -hmm. Well, he only has four on it so far. Another ball. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to show that. Did <laughs> <laughs> now he's got nine and a single pin. So with that, he'll pull five pins ahead of Paul Paquette. He's got six pins. Now, which is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All he knows is he picked up nine bonus pins. Yeah. He's very happy. It's 252. And six pins. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Albert Light now. Good yeah. ball. Do a nice ball there. Yes, yeah, very nice. To spare. Can't even hear it going on the alley. Very nope. smooth. Good shot. Thank All right. Pin. Hey, for, for Albert Light. Yeah. That's his first spare. He's had one strike. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't want to harp on him that he's falling dead because he's not, but he did 91 the first string, but 
It wasn't because he hit, he didn't hit them. And I thought he hit them very well. Didn't get like that there. That's what he was getting yeah. that first string. Mel O'Leary, a lob and foul line judge, keeping an eye on things out there. Taking in all the action. And oh, what a shot. Hey, he keeps his eyes on that line when the ball, he looks kind of mean there, Jack. He does, yeah. I mean, yeah. What's it, Mel's the nicest guy in the world. Oh, See him guess, looking there? You can, I guess we all have a bad yeah. streak. And he's watched thousands and thousands of balls being tossed. Every time that whistle comes up to the lips, just in case. Okay, these, these could call. be the two crucial boxes for Mike Bennett yeah. as far as been going on. That's right. These are the sevens and eights. Three pins of a second right now. Well, he hit pretty good. Mm -hmm. Got a great set up here. You really think so? I know so. Okay. You think so? No. He can't get you think back. he's going to leave the pin in behind? Yes. I don't think so. Oh, I'm making you look good. <laughs> Don't cling to me. <laughs> okay, he's got the mark he wanted. He's a bunch on it, he gets a strike on it. So he was 23 pins back a moment ago. All of a sudden, he's only 13 pins behind Paul Paquette. That's how quick this game can change. Now, Paul Paquette can do something about that right now. He can add to his lead. That's the good news. Or if he drops a pin or two, it could diminish. Paul knows that. Put the mark up here. It's going to be huge. And he does. Yeah, right. He comes right hey, back with okay. the strike. Yeah, oh, you got to like at that. Our home and sitting down enjoying this match. Yep. And when I say I, you got to like that, I don't necessarily mean Paul Paquette fans. I mean the fact that Mike Bennett went out and got a spare and a strike on it. Paquette comes back and gets the strike. It just means putting on a great show. Now, I'll tell you one thing, if Mike Bennett doesn't make it, it's going to be a shame, because he has really bowled his heart out here. Wow. On the other hand, if Paul Paquette makes it, he certainly will deserve it, and so will Doug Blackler. However, you know, now you got to st start thinking about, oh, yes, nice shot. mark there. Now you got to start thinking about Mike Bennett chasing Doug Blackler. All kinds of things going to happen in the final couple of frames. We're going to go to the scoreboard. You might want to get pencil and paper here. But with these bowlers so explosive, a uh, 15, 18 point lead or pin lead, and we that for a while, have I? <laughs> uh, you know, really doesn't mean a whole lot. They can turn it around in a hurry like we saw just a moment ago uh, with uh, Mike Bennett. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at the scoreboard then. And you're going to see the numbers up there. And uh, it uh, is extremely very, very interesting. Well, I don't want to take too much time here, Bruce, because these boys are ready to bowl, and uh, you're looking at uh, Doug Blackler. He's leading off. He's at uh, 252 for 18 boxes. Right now, he's in uh, second, second spot. Place, yeah. Yeah. And then you look at uh, Albert Light. He's at 179. He, we will see him next year. And yeah. Then you're looking at the, the race for everything. It's Mike Bennett. He's at uh, 233 for two balls to two, two counter balls, I should say. So he's in pretty good shape. He's in third right now. And your leader is Paul Paquette with the ball with him in the eighth at 256. So let's bring him home. Well, Paul Paquette's been leading all along. Then he saw him, that lead uh, diminish, and then he lost it to Doug Blackler, but he comes back with strike spare. If you're a Mike Bennett fan, he has 19 pins behind Doug Blackler in the battle for second place, but he has two balls working. Doug Blackler, of course, can be the uh, author of his own destiny when he gets up, though, and he puts a mark or two up. Let's go to Doug Blackler right now and see what he can do is Mike Bennett will watch this very, very closely. Like I say, he's 19 pins back with a couple of balls working. If Doug doesn't mark, he'll have a shot. If Doug does mark, it'll make it tough. Doug Blackford taking a little time now. He gets pretty good. Well, the pressure the gets on the, the finish, front end. The finish of his first string. You know, he went spear, spear, strike, spear. <laughs> <laughs> Is the guy wilts under pressure? I don't think so. Everybody's being quiet. It's a big shot yeah, for Dougie. Uh, they realize. Yes, and sir. Doug nice. Blackford comes up with a huge mark. Not to be tonight. Poor Mike Bennett. He chased uh, Paul Pouquet uh, with that spare strike uh, situation. And... Uh, Paul Paquette came back with a strike and a spare. And he looked at Doug Blackford and says, well, I'll chase him. And Doug puts a mark up on the board. Uh, Paul says, I'm what doing everything I can. Or at least Mike says, I'm doing everything I can. What a match. This is the best match I've done with you in 20 years. And that's saying something because we've done a few. Eight on the mark for mm -hmm. Doug Blackler. With that, he moves back into first place. Now, this is a tough shot. 
Yeah. Okay, he's got to go uh, right at the red band. He's got it. Doug Blackler, under some pressure, comes up with two spares going out. So that's 27 plus the ball over man, to Mike Bennett. Mike Bennett's going to say, what have I got to do? I can throw him Mike Bennett will have the, the highest two-string total of anybody I've seen and not make it if he doesn't make it. Well, he's not out yet. No, he's not out yet, but it's going to be tough. He's looking now at chasing Paul Paquette again. Four on that. I got Dougie for 137. That's exactly what it is. And 147. That looks like about uh, 284. He got it. What Fantastic. a great, great performance. Now, Albert Light is out. He's just going to throw a few balls there and get out of the way. Well, it's not always like that for him. But I can't wait to the Bulls at a 119 average. Don't count that uh, Mike Bennett out yet. He, he finished that first string with a double strike. He sure did. He's got, he's got a ball working now, that being a strike. He's got two balls working. Two balls working. On the strike. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they're really going to say he's got a chance at <laughs> <in> the double. <laughs> uh, he's drinking. For Albert. What's in that water? What do they call that stuff? Aquafina. Well, I think you better get off it. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a dandy, right from the word go. Yeah. Doug Blocker started this game with a spare in the very opening frame, and it's been marked ever since. Mm -hmm. Albert Light. See, Albert's on way down low. He's not even yeah. throwing the ball. He's just releasing it, you know. Yeah. His arm is almost touching the floor when he lets go of the ball. Too bad, but... Uh, he does have a short shot. Oh, what a uh, 10. Nice looking 10. He'll break the 100 with the 10. I was going to say 106. I'm not sure. No, it's 96. I don't think so. No? 106. Oh, I made a 10th mistake and I ain't going to find it. <laughs> 10, or that's 197. Now, 97. Mike Bennett right here on the strike. Would love to have another one here. Looks good. Oh, he's right on the front end. Uh, Mike, he is well, down. I'll tell you what, though, Jack. You get up there, you know you need to get a strike. He's got to play the and three. And he gets on the front end. Three on the left. Yeah. Try and Still on this other mark, of course. He'll throw it over. Try and throw it over. That's a good seven. Yeah, this is a good seven. Tom go out with a double strike and oh man. We need those three. Mm. Use the strike ball here to work. And we've seen him throw. Strike in nine, strike in ten with a double there. Again, it gets no. right on the front end, Jack. Not going to be for Mike Bennett. No. But I want to tell you something. This guy bowled his heart out. Sure did. It's final release there for Paul McKett. Ooh. You know, you can tell he's, uh, he's bowling very well, and he's open on the mark. And, you know. Oh, good shot there by Mike. I uh, can't remember a bowler bowling so well and not moving on. No. Nine, 119. Really? A great performance. 256. And Paul just keep it on the lead. Maybe. Well, Paul right now is at 256 with a ball working, so obviously Mike is not going to catch him. But I want to tell you something. This is some young bowler. Six on his mark. 9102. Paul Paquette, you're watching here, open with the big 160 game. Yeah, first time on, too. Yes, sir. You'll never forget it. Hope he takes the show when it comes on, because mm. there's something, something to give his children and grandchildren. And seven, yeah. Only a seven there, but it doesn't really matter. No. You'd probably like to catch Doug uh, Blackter, at least for bragging rights. Yes, exactly. But uh, he's going to... Need a mark with five on it to tie him. But they're both moving on anyway. Well, he's going to have a shot. Got two sins there. The three and the six to mark. And missed on the left-hand side. But 
Paul Paquet is not too concerned about that, Jack no, James. He, is he is moving on to quarterfinal play. As he cleans the plate there, checks in at 119, 119 the second 119. string. Pretty good total of 279 for Paul Paquet. And that's his first time on, as we say, a rookie in front of our cameras. But what a performance from Paul Paquette, opening with the 160 and following that up with a 119. Doug Black the ball well, but the guy I really feel sorry for is Mike Bennett. This guy bowled his heart out with a 137 and a 119. He faltered a couple of times there, but he always came back and came back big. And this young bowler has got a tremendous future in this game, Jack. Yes, he has. And Doug Blackler, who bowled very well up the leadoff, and a lot of marches you can see up the top of that board, bowled very, very well at 284 to finish first. And I picked him for first. I don't want to blow my horn here. And uh, Albert Light uh, just had a tough night. He does have a bad shoulder. Couldn't, couldn't find it tonight. He finished with a 197. He finished fourth. I did pick him for fourth. Mike Bennett at 256, which Bruce was saying. And any other normal day, he'd qualify, but unfortunately, you've got to say goodbye. I picked him for third. He finished third. And then you got the Paul Paquette, a pick for second, 279, who did finish second. Well, I want to tell you something, Jack James. <laughs> as much as it pains me to say this, <laughs> last week you had them one, two, three, four. This week you had them one, two, three, four again. Yeah. Congratulations to you. It's about time. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can I come back did, to the next one? <laughs> hey, you did real good, kid. <laughs> okay. So Doug Blackler and Paul Paquette, just like Jack told us at the beginning, they move on to quarterfinal play, and a big night for them. But also, uh, Mike Bennett bowled very, very well. A tough night for Albert Lights, but you're going to see more of him also in the future. You're going to see more bowling coming up next week. We've got four more bowlers all set to go. Danny Harvey from Don Hubbard's Way is going to be here, along with Chris Hollett, Donnie Laraid, and Russell Shannon. So remember those names. You're going to see them in seven days' time as they go searching for two more spots in quarterfinal play. The spots tonight, though, belong to Doug Blackler and Paul Paquette. 284, 279, a couple of great games. We certainly hope you enjoyed tonight's match, and will join us next week when we do it again. Until then, I'm Bruce Stevens for Jack James and the entire Access crew saying so long for now. How long has it been since we've been in Olympia? don't have a problem referring patients that they feel they want to have them seen. I, I, having, again, done general practice for seven years, I never found as a family doctor threatened at all uh, asking to, you know, a patient when they asked me to refer them on to a specialist, even when I knew what was going on or so on. So often it just...